What is Benidorm all about? Let's find out! Benidorm, it has everything. If you want, you've got the quiet family time, you've got the nice evening meals, you've got the party lifestyle, you have the bee thing. Benidorm caters for everybody. You know, up your life. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Benidorm is Florida of Europe. It's too beautiful here to go back. Welcome to Costa Blanca, where we find Benidorm between Valencia and Alicante. Benidorm is best known as the nightlife party city of the Costa Blanca North. With over 70,000 inhabitants, it has the most high-rise buildings per capita in the world. There is more to it than just the party life. Beautiful sandy beaches, theme parks, old town and great shopping. Until the 1950s, Benidorm was a small fishing village. As the fishing industry began to decline, the town council focused more and more on developing Benidorm as the tourist attraction. At that time, the swimming suit bikini was banned by General Franco's regime. And in 1953, to increase the number of tourists, the mayor of Benidorm took his little Vespa scooter and he went to meet Franco to get the approval. And he surprisingly got it. Today, Benidorm is Spain's biggest holiday resort with 5 million tourists arriving per year. And now, let's visit a new bar. Maria, you are Romanian. What are you doing here in Benidorm? I always wanted to live in a, a nice and warm country. Mm -hmm. I've uh, been working in, uh, in Holland for a few years and then uh, my dream was to have my own bar. I've been working there in, in one, so I've been saving some money and then I just decided to move in a nice, warm and beautiful country mm -hmm. close to the sea. How is this bar different than other bars in Benidorm? Well, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here, <laughs> that makes it different. It's gonna be a family bar. I want that people feel that when they are here and when that everybody have fun and chill at the same time, that everybody has to feel like home. So everybody can do what they want, <laughs> just feel good. living. Hmm. It's too beautiful here to go back. And what do you like about Benidorm? Um, Benidorm has a bit of everything. Has a bit of craziness, has a bit of chilling, has a bit of... Uh, it's a modern city. How is that different than other parts of Benidorm? Well, I like it more here because it's more uh, quiet, more elegant, uh, better restaurants, uh, better chill out places, uh, better uh, beaches, uh, more space. People are different, a lot of local people here, not, not that much tourists. Well, I like, I like everybody, eh? I like um, every person, but I like Spanish people also. I like their language and I like speaking to them their language. So here you get to experience a little bit more authentic Benidorm, Yes, right? yes, that's true, yeah. You can also take a stroll in historic old town of Benidorm. genuine Spanish experience, you must visit the Tapas Alley. Let's take a walk.
El Cisne means swan. In English, yes. Tell me and El Cisne was a very uh, luxury restaurant many, many years ago. And the terrace where the live music is today was a pond with swans in it. El Cisne is very famous because of the way it is with the trees and the plants outside and it's just different from any other place that you will see in Benidorm. And people, when they come here, they come once and they come back and back and back because it has just some special ambience that I, I can't even understand myself. They love the music, the dancing, the antique shop, the marketplace, and everybody just comes and then they have a, a beautiful afternoon dancing and singing. Tell me about Euroclinica Rincon. Uh, I founded Euroclinica Rincon in 1998 with a vision of having a medical center, an outpatient clinic where uh, doctors working together, uh, treating all kinds of patients with all kinds of machines which provide doctors to get the right diagnosis. The only thing we demand for a, a doctor who's working with us that at least he speaks the Spanish language and the English language. Most of the doctors working in this clinic are Dutch, actually. What is unique about this clinic? We are very personal with the patients. Uh, the patients feel they are more or less at home. They feel comfortable. Uh, they get the proper time. Uh, we, uh, as I, I know, remember from Holland that uh, every five minutes the doctor has to see a new patient. Well, we don't work here on the clock. If a patient needs 15 minutes, he gets 15 minutes. If a patient needs 30 minutes, he gets 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. And that's what the patient is like. And, uh, well, we built up quite a good name in the past 70 years. What kind of services do you offer here? We offer here general practitioner. It always starts with a general practitioner. And from there, the, he refers patients to our medical specialists, if necessary. Mm -hmm. Then we have a cardiologist. She is coming every week and doing all kinds of necessary tests. I see you also have home care. Yes, we also do home care. This is a business we started six years ago. Uh, because here in Benidorm, a lot of elderly people come. That's also the reason why we started here in Benidorm. And that our main reason that we can exist is the language, the, the communication. I'm going to print it and you get a copy from me to take it home. Because communication is the most important thing between a doctor and the patient. We have a general dentistry in our clinic. Uh, that means a general dentist performs almost every thinkable treatment in the dentures. Now I show you the room where we make the x-rays. Here you see a fracture of the wrist and here you see the same picture of the same wrist after the operation. Almost all our clients are elderly people who uh, like, like the sun in winter time here in Spain, comparing to your country, for instance, and my country, where it's very cold during winter time, and here it's always nice. That's also the reason I found Spain, uh, because I saw elderly people living much more than they do in Holland, for instance. They're always in their homes, in the sheltering for the cold. And here you see people active on the street, on the beach, everywhere. So that's what I like most. I think you can say Benidorm is Florida of Europe. Lo 
course, you tell me about Daytonas. There are two, right? Yes, we have two Daytonas. Um, we are open to any kind of groups, hens, stag parties. Also open to families, to kids. Anybody's welcome to come. It's a party lifestyle. You can also come for coffees, for a quiet, relaxing drink on the terrace. It's a great place to come for everything. All year long. All year long. We have live music every day. So what do you like about Benidorm? Oh, I love Benidorm, it has everything. If you want, you've got the quiet family time, you've got the nice evening meals, you've got the party lifestyle, you have the beach, you have everything. Benidorm caters for everybody. Mm -hmm. José, explica un poco Taita. Taita eh, abrimos hace 14 años y abrimos como una crepería. Yo fui a Bretaña, aprendí a hacer crepes y abrimos como crepería. Pero esto me enganchó y poco a poco fui aprendiendo cocina y actualmente hacemos cocina autóctona y cocina mediterránea, aunque seguimos haciendo también crepes. Nos hemos especializado en la cocina autóctona. Hacemos cocina, también hacemos cocina de autor, pero vamos, eh, hacemos arroces, arroces que no hace nadie aquí en Benidorm, porque son arroces autóctonos, que las recetas son de nuestras abuelas. Y el restaurante, el muy famoso, ¿no? Muchas, bueno. muchas fotos. Ah, bueno, sí, eh, pues han venido algunos famosos, pero también hay muchos clientes en las fotos. Para mí lo más importante son mis clientes. Sí, sí. Más que los famosos. ¿Y vinos? Vinos. Eh, en nuestra carta de vinos es esta. Entonces, eh, tenemos también una carta en papel, lo que pasa es que a mí me gusta que la gente vea y toque el producto, vea los vinos, y entonces en la carta mucha gente solo pide los vinos que conoce. Y de esta manera, pues vienes, ves una botella, por ejemplo, Cuatro Pasos, que es un vino del Bierzo, ves Mo, que es un vino de Alicante, puedes ver, tienes los precios de los vinos, y es nuestra carta, es mucho más, más física. Y es muy, más, muy único. Efectivamente. ¿Y por qué Benidorm es el lugar al que visitar y al que vivir? Bueno, Benidorm es una ciudad, es un pueblo, pero es una ciudad eh, que tiene sus admiradores y, y todo lo contrario, hay gente que, es, que no le gusta nada de Benidorm. Yo de Benidorm solo te puedo decir cosas buenas porque yo soy, mis abuelos eran de aquí, mis padres han sido de aquí, son de aquí. Entonces todo venido para mí es maravilloso. Eh, hay gente que, que no le puede gustar, pero vamos, Benidorm es una ciudad muy abierta para todo el turista. Pies of Life. Tell me about your restaurant. Right, this is a, you know the typical Indian Pakistani restaurant. It's not only hot and spicy. It's all up to you. If you want a mild, you want a medium, you want a hot. We can make it that you know. Why the name Spice of Life? The Spice of Life is, is you know, is the spice actually, you know, up your life. <laughs> so, you know, it's the Spice of Life, that's what's the Spice of Life. When did you get to Benidorm? Uh, well, I've been in Spain about 25 years. In Benidorm we started in 1999, this restaurant. Why did you choose Benidorm? It's, it's great, you know, I mean, lots, you know, there's really a tourist place in Benidorm. I mean, huge tourists come around the world. And especially the British people, they love the curries. And even Spanish now, we have a, you know, like 50% you can say we have a Spanish customer. They come around Spain, you know, with a lot from Madrilenos, from Madrid, Valencia, north sides. So for, we have a customer from all over Spain, you know, and they love curries. And it's a family restaurant? Exactly, yeah, this is like a family. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There are over 50 fiestas taking place in Benidorm all year round. Here you can see the famous Easter Parade. Bye. 
Spain Radio is uh, the biggest English radio station in Spain. And we've been broadcasting for the last 12 years. Um, we've been growing bigger and bigger every year. We now broadcast all the way from Denia all the way down to Cartagena along the Mediterranean coast. We've got an amazing range of DJs and presenters and a great team behind us um, producing some of the, you know, the best radio around here really. Tuesday morning and uh, we've been inundated with coming up in about half an hour's time. We work with some of the biggest brands who advertise with Bay Radio and use us to, you know, to get their message out there. And you have been here for how many years? Um, I started here in 2005, the first day that Bay Radio started. It's a great place to live, a great place to work and a great place to come on holiday as well. It's got everything. So as you know, Bay Radio caters for an older audience of 35, 40 plus. And now our new station, Overseas FM, um, is catering for a younger audience from the ages of about 18, right, coming up to about 35, 40. So now we feel that we can cater for the whole spectrum of advertisers and listeners around this area. Now at Jamie, tell me how living here compares to living in England. Even though some people find it quite difficult to work out here, there is a lot of opportunity for expats to come over here to work. We hope you enjoyed the film and to discover other towns and people of the Costa Blanca, tune in to our website at upnowcostablanca.com.